Hello, I'm Tonya Cochran from Anala Nature Tours. We're here at the Bruni Island Bird Festival, which is a really important event for conservation. Uh, it increases awareness of local community and uh, school kids and adults alike come and people from all over the world. So it's a good meeting place for people. Inala is my property and it's also the name of my business, Inala Nature Tours, and we run uh, wildlife tours and birding tours ar around the globe now. But this is the base and we've just had a lovely uh, walk around the property with some people during the bird festival. that period of time, part of my job in the early 1990s was to collect seed from these trees and grow them into little seed and then distribute them to adjoining landowners. Uh, so that was just a fabulous walk through nature this morning. Different areas with different vegetation and the different birds. Tonya did a brilliant job of reminding us all how important it is to look after nature and the plants that the animals feed on, the land that nurtures the plants. That's and right. To tie it all together, she did it in a beautiful way, looking at all these different environments. And allowing nature to unfold in its own way. So we'll have a quick look at the bird hide here. The white bird, like a cockatoo but an actual raptor. It is also the only all-white raptor in the world. They are um, a threatened species in Tassie. There's about 200 breeding pairs. Green rosellas, feeding up here. I don't know if you can hear the, that harsh. But that's the Tasmanian scrub wren. Pretty obvious once you find it. So that loud musical call behind us, that's a grey shrike thrush. If you're ever in Tazi and you hear that, that usually means there's an aerial threat coming across. That's a New Holland honey eater. They're great warning systems. They also call out for kookaburras, currawongs and butcher birds. So it's not always a raptor, but anything that can track you. So there's dusky wood swallows. On the, actually there's quite a few of them on the upper reaches of the tree. The load platform. Hope to get better looks at 40 spotted pardalot. Those are some very young trees, still good for foraging on, but not good for nesting on. And so you have the added nest boxes, such as that one over there. Look at them carefully, the upper mandible, unlike the other paddlers, which have a spoon-shaped bill. Additional, with the added hook to the tip of the, of the upper mandible. And they use that to farm what's called mana, a very sugary exudate that comes out of these Actually, all eucalypts, but the one from the Viminalis is richer than a lot of others. So there's a few 40 spotted paddlers just here. 